Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the the effect last seen on my uh, first channel, The Great Muffin Kings. And the sh it's the CGI effect and putting something that is CGI in your videos and how to make anything with CGI. And yeah, I know the camera shake kind of sucks, but whatever. So yeah, it's a pretty sweet effect. Let's open up After Effects here. There. Um... You know what? I I overdid the I overdid the color correction here. Let me turn down the greens. Just just just. Whoops. Put it down like that. Go to RPG. this up a little bit so it's not so dark. Take away some of the contrast. Like that. So that's the effect. Um, you can add a camera shake if you don't, if you wanna. You know, uh, I probably shouldn't have. Anyways, so I did it in a free program that I've been using for a long time now. It's called Blender. Blender 3D. And if you know it, then good for you, because it's great to know. But I'm not going to be doing, like, a whole tutorial on it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my view, click camera, and we're just going to put a cube into After Effects, if you don't mind. And then I'm going to go to view again background image use background image and click load and i have one here and i got this from video copilot dot this image just put the blend all the way down so you can see now what i like to do is i come here right click split area changes i'm not i'm not this is a very this is more of an advanced tutorial in blender all right then we're gonna animate the cube just coming down like the tank. You could do this with, I don't know, anything actually. A CGI character that you make, you can, anything, you can, and I used it in my monster movie, The Calling, that I made. So yeah, just animate it. I, lock rot scale, move, frame, I don't know, 30, scale, come over here. Rotate a little bit. I had it look like I had when I made. I'm doing this really sloppy. I had the tank like when it moves, it comes into here, and it does like a bump just to add realism. But it actually ended up looking kind of bad. Hit Alt A to preview. Once again, you can do this with anything. And all right, that's kind of cool. It looks like it's kind of moving, and then um turn this off because we don't need it anymore it's not going to render like that anyways so um go to your materials tab down here and just add to add realism i did a camouflage texture to my tank and i'm going to show you how to do that so clear add no your textures and i changed it to musgrave I want to colors, color band, and I don't know why this is a preset, this cayenne, but I hate it, so. And I made a brown texture, then I added another one and made it, I kept it, and then I added a third one, made it green. That kind of green. So it's a nice texture. And go to render, render current frame. It's going to take a little bit. And that's our cube. Camouflage. Oh yeah. Now, you need, we're going to be chroma keying. So, go to your world and make this green. That was a problem for me, though. Because my camouflage has green in it. So, if green is a not a resort, then go to blue. If blue and green are not available, 
go to red. If blue, green, and red are not available for some weird reason, go to cayenne, and, er, I'm sorry, go to purple, then cayenne, and then yellow. Or whatever works. Just find a color that works. Or even black or white sometimes will work. Anyways, so then, go to your rendering tab. Um, this ends at frame 32, so cut this to 32, so that it only renders 32 frames. Change this from JPEG to AVI RAW, or AVI RAW. Then click here, and change where you want it to be output, like for example the desktop. I'm just going to cancel that. And then just click animate. Then come to wherever you saved it, and it should be there. Here's the raw file of my tank. I accidentally used green. I should have used blue though, so chrome king was kind of a problem. I'm not gonna render out the cube that we made. Anyway, so now I'm gonna come back here to After Effects, Control, and just to start a project for you guys. Come on, there we go. And start a new composition. I don't care how long. And then we'll go to File, uh, Import, File. And find my images, my tank and my background image. I named it Apples. I don't know why. I'm weird like that. I'm going to put the apples on bottom. So that we got this. Oh, oops. I, I, I'm sorry. My bad. I should have imported that. This. Let's drag it down. And this is the tank composite that I made. And we're gonna have it go along the road. So type in color key. You could go to key light, but this is a very basic key because it's all one color. Click it. And I'm gonna zoom in. Then you can go to Nat Choker. Nat Choker. I don't really care that it takes out the top and ten of things. I'm doing this very sloppy for you guys. And if you really want a solid key, you can go to key light, because that's for more difficult keys that are more advanced and have a little bit more colors than just one solid color. Okay. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to select my picture, my apples, it needs to be scaled down, or you could fit it to the comp by going right click, um, I don't know, I forgot, whatever, this is easy, and ba bam, we are good, actually it can be moved down a little bit. So that's basically how you do it, and you're definitely going to want to animate it a little bit so it looks better. Let me just rotate that, see how that looks. Alright, that looks cool. And um, I wanted this car to be in front, so it's actually pretty simple. You go control D to duplicate it. Put one of them on top. It's a very basic technique. And then you gotta go to your mask. And I'm not gonna go zoom in and do a very complicated mask, but just mask around that. And that off. And then come in here. Hit M F 
and just feather it out a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And then when we want the tank to be in front, we just, this is very sloppy, but you can just go all in bracket and it'll just, or you could fade it out. You can do a lot of things. So, yeah, and then you can go to curves and make the tank belong to the scene a little bit more by, the scene's kind of bright, so bump it up. Then what I did, I added a very cool color correction that actually looked okay, surprisingly. Go to layer, new adjustment layer. Basically what an adjustment layer is, is if you apply an effect to it, it will apply it to every layer beneath it. Add a curves to that. And I added contrast by taking up here and bumping it up so that the whites pop out more. And then taking down here and bumping that down so that the blacks stand out a little bit more. And that adds contrast, which is cool. Then we're going to go to the green channel. And I put that up a little bit. Just to add kind of a 35mm looking effect the RGBs and bring down the blacks a little bit more. A little bit more contrast. Bring down the lights. Lights are up a little bit too high. And then we'll go to the reds. Take those down. Then the blues. And if you want, you can bump the blues up. Or, er, oops. Just bump them up for like up here and add some blue contrast. Something like that. I don't know. Play with that. But color correction is very powerful. And then I added a camera shake by... You don't... I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to teach you how to do a camera shake today. Because that's kind of more advanced. Well, it's not advanced, but it takes a little bit. I'm sure there's thousands of tutorials on it. So Yeah, so that's how you add CGI to your movies. Thank you.